radiation and oncology objectives on completing this module you will be able to define radiology identify the characteristics of x-rays describe diagnostic techniques used in radiation and oncology understand the use of radiation therapy describe cancer cells explain the characteristics of tumors classify the cancerous tumor types introduction radiology is termed as the study of x-rays x-rays are invisible rays of energy that are produced by energy sources like x-ray machines cathode ray tubes etc they are useful in the diagnosis and treatment of disease nuclear medicine is a specialized area of radiology that uses very small amounts of radioactive substances to examine organ function and structure in the diagnosis of a disease radiation therapy or radiation oncology uses high energy radiation from x-rays gamma rays neutrons and other sources to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors characteristics of x-rays some main characteristics of x-rays are one they cause exposure of a photographic plate two they penetrate different substances to varying degrees three they are invisible x-rays are not detected by sight sound or touch four they travel in straight lines five they can scatter radiation this occurs when x-rays come in contact with any material six ionization x-rays have the ability to ionize substances through which they pass diagnostic techniques x-rays are used in many ways for detecting pathological conditions the most common use of the diagnostic x-ray is to locate dental cavities in teeth other areas of examination include the digestive nervous reproductive and endocrine systems and the chest and bones the spatial diagnostic x-ray techniques are computed tomography ct and magnetic resonance imaging mri computed tomography ct or cat the ct scanner looks like a huge thick ring inside the wall of the scanner there is an x-ray source on the other side of the ring there is an x-ray detector the patient lies on a couch which slides into the center of the ring until the part of the body to be scanned is between the x-ray source and detector the x-ray machine and x-ray detector rotate together around the patient's body always being opposite each other as they rotate around the x-ray machine emits thin beams of x-rays through the body which are detected by the x-ray detector the detectors detect the intensity of the x-ray beam which passes through the body the x-ray detectors transmit this information to a computer different types of tissues with different densities show up as a picture on the computer monitor as different colors or shades of gray so in effect a picture is created by the computer of a slice of a thin section of the patient's body the couch is then moved slightly further through the ring to get a picture of the next section of the body in this way several cross sectional pictures or slices of the part of the body being investigated are noted by the computer magnetic resonance imaging mri an mri scan uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves to create pictures on a computer of tissues organs and structures inside the body mri uses no x-rays and does not require contrast medium to be used like a ct scan does mri is useful in detecting edema in the brain projecting a direct image of the spinal cord 
detecting tumors in the chest and abdomen and visualizing the cardiovascular system. The MRI scanner looks like a small tunnel bounded by a huge circular magnet. The patient lies on a couch and a receiving device is placed behind or around the part of the body being examined. Then the couch slides into the scanner. When each picture is taken, the patient should keep still for a few minutes since the scanned pictures may be blurred due to shakes in the body. Several scans are made to get pictures of slices of the area of the body being examined. Nuclear medicine In nuclear medicine, two types of tests are used in the diagnosis of disease. They are in vitro procedures and in vivo procedures. In vitro procedure An in vitro procedure is used to analyze blood and urine specimens using radioactive chemicals. For example, a radioimmunoassay, RIA, uses the in vitro procedure, in vivo procedure. During in vivo tests, small amounts of radioactive substances within the body are traced. They are given directly to the patient and are used to observe the function of an organ or to picture it. In tracer studies, a specific radionuclide is embedded into a chemical substance and given to the patient. The combination of a radionuclide and a drug or chemical is called radiopharmaceutical. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy is a technique used for cancer treatment. It uses beams of intense energy to kill cancer cells. Radiation therapy often gains power from X-rays, but the power can also be derived from protons. Radiation therapy damages the cancerous cells. During radiation therapy, some healthy cells are also damaged, but the main goal of this therapy is to destroy as few normal healthy cells as possible. Machines used for radiation therapy some kinds of machines used for therapy are therapy machines, ortho voltage machines, mega voltage machines. Therapy machines send rays with higher intensity. Ortho voltage machines deliver low energy radiation, which is used in treatment of superficial skin cancers. Mega voltage machines generate high energy radiation and are used to treat deeper tissues in curative radiotherapy for cancer. Two examples of such machines are the Betatron and the Linear Accelerator. Radiotherapeutic Techniques Brachytherapy includes interstitial therapy and intracavitary therapy. In order to deliver interstitial therapy, a radioactive element such as radium, gold-198, iodine-125, or iridium-192 is surgically inserted into the tumor. In intracavitary therapy, a radioactive source is delivered within a body by placing it adjacent to the tumor. This form of therapy is particularly suited for gynecological malignancy. Carcinogenesis Carcinogenesis is the process of formation of cancer. During this process, normal cells are changed into cancer cells. This change occurs on the genetic and cellular level. Types of tumor A tumor is a growth of tissue made up of abnormal cells. Tumors are of two types. They can be benign or malignant. Some differences between benign and malignant tumors are Benign tumors grow slowly. Malignant tumor cells multiply rapidly. Benign tumors are often encapsulated so that the tumor cells do not invade the surrounding tissue. Malignant tumor growth is characteristically invasive and infiltrative. Benign tumors are formed of highly organized and specialized cells. Malignant tumors are formed of cancerous cells. Classification of cancerous tumors The major classes of cancerous tumors are carcinomas, sarcomas, and mixed tissue tumors.
Carcinomas Carcinomas are solid tumors resulting from epithelial tissues that make up external and internal body surfaces, including the skin, glands, and digestive, kidney, and reproductive organs. Sarcomas Sarcomas are less common than carcinomas and result from supportive and connective tissues such as muscle, cartilage, bone, bone marrow, and from the cells of the immune system. Mixed tissue tumor Mixed tissue tumors are those resulting from tissues capable of differentiating both epithelial and connective tissue. These uncommon tumors are composed of several different kinds of cells. Mixed tissue tumors can be found in the kidneys, ovaries, and testes. Cancer treatment. The major approaches to cancer treatment are surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Surgery. During surgery, the tumor is first exposed before it spreads and it may be cured by surgical excision. Some common cancers in which surgery may be curative are those of the stomach, breast, and uterus. The following is a list of terms that describe surgical procedures used in treating cancer. Cryosurgery Malignant tissue is frozen and destroyed. Electrocauterization Malignant tissue is destroyed by burning. On block resection the tumor is removed along with a large area of surrounding tissue containing lymph nodes. Excisional biopsy Elimination of tumor and a border of normal tissue. Exenteration A broad resection involving elimination of the tumor, its organ of origin and all surrounding tissue in the body space such as in the pelvis. Fulguration Damage of tissue by electric sparks produced by high-frequency current. Incisional biopsy. A piece of tumor is removed from examination to establish a diagnosis. Radiation. The goal of radiation is to deliver a maximum dose of ionizing radiation to the tumor tissue and a minimal dose to surrounding normal tissue. Some of the terms used in the field of radiation therapy for cancer are electron beams, low energy beams used for the treatment of skin tumors, fractionation, a method of giving radiation in small repeated doses rather than a few large doses, linear accelerator, a large electronic device that produces high energy X ray beams for treatment of deep-seated tumors. Radiocurable tumor Tumor which may be completely destroyed by radiation therapy. Radioresistant tumor A tumor that requires large doses of radiation to produce death of cells. Radiosensitive tumor Tumor in which radiation can cause death of cells without serious damage to surrounding normal tissue. Radio sensitizers. These are drugs which are used to increase the sensitivity of tumors to X-rays. Cancer chemotherapy. Cancer chemotherapy is a technique used in the treatment of cancer with the help of drugs. It is the standard treatment for choriocarcinoma and testicular cancer. Chemotherapy can be used alone or it can be combined with surgery and radiation. Categories of chemotherapeutic agents used in cancer treatment are alkylating agents. These are synthetic compounds containing two or more chemical groups called alkyl groups. Antibiotics. These are drugs produced by bacteria or fungi. Anti-metabolites. These drugs inhibit the synthesis of substances that are the necessary components of DNA or may directly block the replication or copying of DNA. Plant derivatives. 
These are drugs derived from plants. Steroids. These groups of chemicals are created by the glands in body. They have significant effects on energy production, reproduction and aging. Summary. With this, we come to the end of the topic on radiation and oncology. Let us recall the key points of this topic. Radiology is termed as the study of X-rays. X-rays are invisible rays of energy that are produced by an energy source like an X-ray machine, cathode ray tube, etc. and are useful in the diagnosis and treatment of disease. Some main characteristics of X-rays are exposure of a photographic plate, penetration, invisibility, straight line travel, scattering of radiation and ionization. Two special diagnostic X-ray techniques are computed tomography, CT, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Nuclear medicine is a specialized area of radiology that uses very small amounts of radioactive substances to examine organ function and structure in the diagnosis of a disease. Radiation therapy or radiation oncology uses high energy radiation from X-rays, gamma rays, neutrons and other sources to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. Two types of tests used in nuclear medicine are in vitro and in vivo procedures. Some kinds of machines used for therapy are therapy machines, orthovoltage machines, and mega voltage machines. Some of the bad side effects of radiation therapy are ulceration of mucous membranes, nausea and vomiting, and bone marrow suppression. The major classifications of cancerous tumors are carcinomas, sarcomas, mixed tissue tumors. Cancer is a disease of cells in the body. Cancer cells are characterized by unrestrained and excessive multiplication of body cells. Oncology deals with the study, analysis and treatment of cancer. Carcinogenesis is the process of formation of cancerous cells. A tumor is a growth of tissue made up of abnormal cells. The two types of tumors are benign and malignant. The major approaches to cancer treatment are surgery, radiation therapy and chemotherapy.